little bit more hyped up, shall we? And let's not get this close to the microphone. Um, let's preview the relegation battle. Um, where do we start? Where, where do we start with the Prem relegation scrap? Because there is about 14, from 14 teams, from 14th down, and everyone could go down and everyone could stay up. Southampton bottom with 23 points. Leicester second bottom with 25. Forest third bottom with 27. Evidence 17th with 27. Leeds 16th with 29. West Ham 15th with 20, with 31. Bournemouth 14 with 33. We'll chuck Wolves in there. Wolves are with 34 in 13th. And I think Palace. From Palace up are safe, I think. Um, so, yeah. Let's just run through it quickly. Who do I think goes down? Let's go from let's go from bottom, like top-ish to bottom down. Um, Bournemouth. Now, I don't have much faith in Bournemouth. I really don't. Um, they their squad just isn't really that inspiring. I know they've had a pretty good run of form recently. Um, of course they they beat Liverpool, obviously beating Tottenham. But that like that te- even that team that, that that team that started against Tottenham like Neto in goal, yeah he's good, but he's great. I don't mind that defense. I like Mepham. I like I really like Lloyd Kelly. I really do like Lloyd Kelly. But is he that good, really? For like, f- really that good? Jack Stevens. I mean, God fucking hell. Um, Joe Rothwell. Joe Rothwell was playing at Blackburn last year. Um, James or Marcus Tavernier is not bad. I don't mind him, but I feel like he, he's a player that I feel like he's a player that needs a lot of better players around him to get the best out of him. Solanke up top sucks. Lerma's good. I don't mind him. Ryan Christie's good. I don't mind him. Billing, I don't really like Billing. Um, he's, I, I don't know, I don't really like, I don't know. There's something about him that I just don't really like. Um, also, the fact that he's like, the fact that he's 193 centimetres playing as an attacking midfielder is quite bizarre. But um, he scored seven goals this season, which is not bad. And then Matthias Vinna on the left-hand side, who I've got no idea where he's come from, from Roma online. So their squad, Gary O'Neill's manager, Jade Nancy off the bench, not bad. Key for more off the bench, not bad, but not a lot of faith, not a lot of oomph about that team. So not a fan, not a fan of Bournemouth. West Ham, would like to see West Ham stay up. To be honest, I know, I know as a Chelsea supporter, I'm not meant to say that. I know as a Chelsea supporter, meant to be like, yeah, fuck you, fuck West Ham, all this stuff, fuck you, West Ham, Cockney accent, all that good stuff. Um, that is shocking, but I don't mind West Ham. I, I wouldn't mind them staying up. I think they're, all, I think they are too good to go down. To be honest, also seeing Lucas Paqueta and fucking Skamaka. In the championship next season is going to be bizarre, so they'll probably leave. But if they do stay, it would be bizarre. Um, yeah, if you look at the side that play, like that side that played Arsenal is good. Like Fabianski is a solid prem keeper. Sufal's not bad. Zuma is a Premier League player. Um, Timo Kea is a Premier League player. Cresswell is a Premier League player. Um, Suchek, Rice, Paqueta, Benrama, Bowen, Anthony. They're all Premier League players. They're way too good to go down. Way too good to go down. Um, even off the bench, like Cornet is a good player. Like Flynn Downs has 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 quite a lot of potential. I know he's twenty four, but um, if he can finally, if he can get some good run, he can, if he can get a good run, and he can be like a solid, solid lower tier Premier League player. I think Fornells is a good player in my opinion. Even the likes of like Ings is a Prem player. Then Zini is a Prem player. Ben Johnson, I think, could be a really good fullback, um, especially from the defensive side of things. Even as even as a, if you move him more centrally, like playing on the right hand side of the back three. I think Ben Johnson could be really, really good. Emerson's a prem player. Emerson's a Champions League winner, if you don't mind. Um, so like they're they're way too good to go down. Way too good to go down. So um, yeah, definitely way too good to go down. Leeds, I like Leeds, but also fuck them. One of those things. One of the, one of those things. I like Leeds, but also fuck them. Um, they are. A club I love to hate, but also love to kind of like, because I like, I like, I don't know, you know, like anyone who knows this podcast, right? Anyone who knows me knows I am a massive nostalgia merchant, right? I love the 90s. I was not I was born in 04, for God's sake, and I love the 90s. And when I think of 90s Premier League football, I think of Leeds, I think of Allen Road, I think of like Forest, I think of these teams. So I want to say, I want to say Leeds stay up. Um, their squad I like, the squad I like a lot, I really do, I think Melier's okay, Ailing not that great, the, the defence I struggle with, 
But from their attacking half onwards, I think Rocker and McKenny are a great double pivot. Aronson just ahead of them. I think he's a good player. I really do. Bamford up front, he has shown he's a very good goal scorer, proven Premier League goal scorer. What did he score in his first season in the Prem? He scored 17 goals in the first in his first season at the, in the Prem. So he's a pr- pr- proven Prem goal scorer. Jack Harrison on the right wing, I think he's okay. And um, Sinistera as well, I think has a very, very, very bright future. Only 23 years of, years of age. Even off the bench, Rodrigo's good. Um, Gnotto? 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 Wilfred Gnotto. I don't know. He's like Gnocchi. He's like Gnocchi, but like Gnotto. Maybe. I don't know, but he's good. I like him. Chris Jansen's good. Greenwood's good. Somerville's good. For sure's okay. Like, I want them to stay up, and I think they will stay up. I think they're fine. I think they're fine. Um, uh, Everton. Fuck them. But also, I want to keep them. Again, it goes back to the thing I said about Leeds. I like I like the big Premier League proven clubs. But also, they're another team that I think are just too good to go down. Pickford, like, good goalkeeper. England's number one. Ben Godfrey, really good young player. Keane and Tarkovsky, leave a, li- leave a little bit to be desired. Mikalenko, same. But Awobi's good. Idris Garner Gay's good. Dwight McNeil, I think, is good. Damari Gray's, eh. Uh, um, Neil Malpai's fucking dog shit. Um, James Garner, was he, the, was he the one at United? Yeah, he's okay, he's still, what, 22, isn't he? Yeah, so he can, a little bit of potential there. And um, I'm not sure if I mentioned Awobi, but I like Awobi as well. Even if we take a look at their bench, um, Tom Davies, is, I think he's good. Yerry Mina, I think he's good. Like, I think they're okay. I think Everton will be fine. I think Everton will be fine. Got a relatively easy run home. Actually, no, they don't. Fuck, their run home's kind of difficult. Palace away is tough. Newcastle at home, tough. Leicester away, relegation six pointer. Everton or Brighton at home, Brighton away, tough. City at home, tough. Wolves and Bournemouth, final two games. They should if if they take six points out of Wolves and Wolves and Bournemouth, I think they I think they stay out. I think they stay out, which they probably should do and they could do. Um, let's go to Forest. Oh, uh, Forest, for, for, Forest are uninspiring, aren't they? But also, I respect what they're doing. Like I really respect what they're doing in terms of. Um, what they've done with Steve Cooper, they've just backed him in. <laughs> they just backed him in. I know they've spent stupid amounts of money, and for for a promotion team, they should should not be allowed to spend this type of money. But um, I like their team. I do like. I think like Navas. They've got Kalo Navas in goal. Like they've got Kalo Navas in goal. Like I know you should put him in the nanny SBC, but still, they've got Kalo Navas in goal. They cannot go down. They can't go down. Um, like I really struggle to believe that they're going to go down because of like just him himself. Brennan Lotties, I think he's good. Like Gibbs White, I think he's another good Premier League player. Like I think they're filled with a lot of just good Premier League players. Remo Fula is a good player. Like he's he's thirty one. Was that at Atlanta? I think he's a good player. I think they're filled with good players, but there's just too many of them that they can't fit into the team. Do you know what I mean? Like they just can't fit into the team, which is obviously going to make them struggle a lot. Even Nico Williams as well. I don't mind um, former Liverpool player as well. So yeah. Felipe, good player as well. So, I think they're going to be fine. I think they're going to be fine. I think they will. I say I think they're going to be fine. I've, I don't even know who I'm predicting. I'm going to predict who's going to go down at the end of this. I don't even know. I haven't even looked at it yet. So, if I've said I think they're going to be fine, then the predicting them to go down, not my fault. Let's go Leicester. Leicester, another team. Way too good to go down. But they haven't won a game since February. And they've got one point since February. Jesus Christ, as my dog is bark going skits downstairs. I'm really hoping it doesn't pick up on the mic. I think it might, though. Um, let's look at the team that they played against Leicester. Once again, a fine Premier League team. Like, Iverson in goal. They should never have gotten rid of Schmeichel. Never have gotten rid of Schmeichel. That is the dumbest thing any football club's ever done. If you're going to get rid of him, get him a replacement in straight away. Because, fuck me. I think Soyun has fallen off a cliff, but I think he's still a handy. Harry Suter's good. Don't chat. Don't give me any shit about Harry Suter. He's a good. He's a fucking good footballer. Um, Woodfuss sucks. I don't like him at all. Castagna's good. Chris Jensen's good. Um, Tillemans and Indeedy. I mean, they've got. T- if you had told me two years ago, Tillemans, Indeedy, Madison would be on the verge of championship, I would have slapped you in the face and said no way. Bro, t- when 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 Brendan Rodgers was playing a four one four one. With Tillemans and Didi, and with with Didi sitting, Tillemans and Madison playing slightly ahead, with with um Vardy up front, um, 
Harvey Barnes on one wing and fucking Perez or Albright on the other wing, I was looking at that and thinking, that is the most balanced midfield in the country. Like, that midfield of Indeedy, Tillemans and Madison, when they were finishing fifth, was the best, arguably the most balanced midfield in the country. It was stupidly good. Like, stupidly good. The factor in the in this position is you know, astounds me. But um, Drew's Hall is good. I think, I think they should be fine as well. And then Southampton. Southampton suck. They're going to go down. Um, yeah, so sorry to any Southampton supporters, but you suck. You suck a lot of... I'm going to end this, end that sentence there, but yeah, I don't rate your team at all. Ward Prowse is good. Lavi is good. Apart from that, Walker Peters is all right. Bazanu is all right. Adam, uh, Stuart Armstrong sucks. Walcott. As if Theo Walcott hasn't retired yet. Jesus Christ. Um, yeah, he's not that great at all. Um... Elinorsi, eh. Seko Mara, eh. Perude, Perud, Roman Perud, eh. Kaltakar is okay. I don't mind him. Could be better. But yeah, they're gonna go down. All right, let's let, let's let's. Who, who do I think is gonna go down? Who do I think is gonna go down? Let's go. Um, I think in twentieth place. I'll go Southampton. I don't think they're going to do it. I, I think that Southampton are down. I think it's going to be... Southampton? Who do I think is going to go down? Who do I think is going to go down? Southampton, Southampton are down. South, Southampton are, Southampton are down. They're, they're gone. Southampton are down. Let's move my chair back so I can lean on my table. Um, here we go. That's, that's nice and close to the camera. Southampton are down. They're down. I... I... I think Forest are down. I think Forest are down. I think Forest are down. So, for the, for the, for, for the sake of completion, I'll go Southampton 20th, Forest 19th. And I know that I know they're currently in the the highest team in this kind of in this bracket, but I'm gonna go Southampton. I'm gonna go. Oh uh, yeah, okay, I've got it. I've got. It. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go with. Here we go. Okay. Yeah, I've got. All right. South. This is what I think the relegation scrap is gonna be. Southampton twentieth, Nottingham Forest nineteenth, and Bournemouth. In 18th. I just see every other club being too good to go down. And I know that phrase is used a lot. But West Ham have way too much quality. Everton have too much quality. Leicester have just too much individual talent. Leeds, I I think Ellen Road is going to get them over the line. I really do. I think the pull of that ground is ridiculous. And I think that, that leaves Southampton, Forest and Bournemouth. I think Southampton and Bournemouth are re- relatively uninspiring for the most part. And I think Forest are a victim of their own kind of demise. They're a victim of their own circumstance. And as much as I want Forest to stay up because I like the club, I just think they've gone about it the wrong way and they've gone too risky and I don't think it's going to pay off. I think I think it's one step too far for them. So yeah, that is, um, that is what I think is going to go down. Which is quite interesting considering... Um, which is quite interesting considering um, what, what yeah which is quite interesting considering where each team is placed right now